Okay, so we're by the front door. I'm gonna go ahead and unzip it. Apparently, from when I, I checked before I gave it the water treatment, apparently the seams on the inside are taped, which is a good thing. Okay, I'm trying to fit in here. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of the panels that wasn't treated very well, and I can feel some moisture on the inside. Now compared to this one, it's perfectly dry. The seams are dry. No water came in from the pole area up there. Sorry, I'm trying to get my grip here. Yep. Uh, yeah, this panel also, you can feel the humidity on the inside. It's wet. That door is wet on the inside also. I think you just saw some drops falling. Yeah. So, overall, well, it retained water. This, this panel's wet on the inside. It's wet. It, it's like... When you're inside and you get the moisture build up from sleeping inside this one, it's wet on the inside too. Okay, we're coming back out. Overall, well, it's ripstop, which is good. The material seems uh, strong enough. It's polyester, it's not nylon. However, I'm gonna have to retreat the entire outside of this tent because they didn't do such a good job. It is a cheap tent, so I'm not complaining. Kind of figured I wasn't gonna get my money's worth. But uh, yeah, for the price, it's okay. But just be aware that it's not waterproof. It is water resistant, but not waterproof. Other than that, it's pretty roomy inside for two people. The stitching, I didn't see anything bad with the stitching. Uh, and I'm sure you've gotten um, reviews from others about this tent. You have two vents like this, one here, one on the other side. And again, look how dark it is. It's absorbing water. You can see my fingers. Yes, and it is wet on the inside. So yeah, I'm glad I tested it now and not when I take it out camping, as you should all test your tents before you go out camping. Until then, happy trails.